Padres have given up pretty much everything in their farm system. And I know people are saying to me, uh, you know, hey, A.J. Preller knows a whole lot more about baseball than we do. Yeah, I would expect so. He's a general manager and a president of baseball operations for a major league ball club for the last 10 years. I'm going to give him credit that he knows more about baseball and knows more about his team and more about his prospects and more about what he's trying to build than we do. And I have absolutely zero, I mean zero issue with A.J. Preller and the Padres going for it now. When they went out and got Juan Soto two years ago, that was an indication that they were serious and they were ready to play ball. The next year, when they went out and got Xander Bogarts and they spent all that money, they were ser- they gave Joe Musgrove money, they gave you Darvish money, they went out and made this trade before the start of the season with Dylan Cease. They're serious about trying to win. I'm all in. And I don't care about number two prospect through number 13 prospect. Don't mean nothing to me. I listen, I'd much rather be all in than whatever the giants are doing. You know, I'd rather, I'd much rather be all in than whatever the Marlins are doing As I know they're very, very different situations, but this is a much more exciting thing to follow for the next two months, as opposed to, to that. So yeah, let's go AJ. You know, I, I listen, there's no secret here to the local audience. I, I think the guys should go. But if they keep making the playoffs, I have no problem being proven wrong. No problem. What happened at the deadline, and I was this is what I was prefacing at the end of the last segment. The, the San Diego Padres starting pitching got a larger uplift than people could imagine by what they did to the back end of the bullpen. If as a starter, they're just asking you, get to the sixth inning. And with what their pitching has been doing lately, if you get Joe Musgrove back healthy, if you get you Darvish back healthy and now rest it, because he hasn't been going due to injury, so he should be rested, so he should be fresh. You get those guys back, and you're saying, get us to the sixth inning, Michael King, Dylan Seats, in addition to that. In the seventh, eighth, and ninth, yeah. these guys we now have are very difficult to hit. Yeah, and then the Dodgers are saying the exact same thing. If we get Mookie Betts back healthy, if we get yeah. Max Muncy back healthy, if Freddie yeah. Freeman comes back from whatever list he's on right now and he comes back and he starts hitting the way he's supposed to hit, great. If they start doing that and Otani's doing his thing, you know what they're saying? We're going to run away with this division. We're going to score under, so many runs. Yeah. You're under We're the score impression. score so many runs. See, yeah. but here's the difference in how I viewed the season and how other people have viewed the season. I'm only focused on what the Padres are doing. Because if they don't do what they need to do, it's irrelevant what someone else does. My only focus has been on what they're doing, how the mm-hmm. Padres are working forward, how the Padres are doing chemistry wise. Yeah. Well, you're a very Padres micro guy. I'm a big you macro are. guy. You are. I'm a big yeah, macro guy. I'm, I'm, you know? I, I'm you're looking very, back. I'm looking at the Diamondbacks. I'm, yeah, you're, the Diamondbacks you're hyper local. Too. They're a half game behind the Padres right now, dude. You, like you, you, you're so hyper local, man. I mean, like to me, I'm looking at the Dodgers, and of course, you know, I play LA Cap a few days a week, but I'm like, hey, look, I want to see what the Dodgers are doing. I want to keep my eye on the Dodgers. I want to know what they've got. I want to know what's cooking in their clubhouse. I want to know their storyline. I'm I'm usually like when it comes to basketball, I watch the Lakers and whoever the Lakers are playing, and I can care less about the rest of the league. See, what not Browner, me. But what Brown is saying about the Padres, the Diamondbacks are experiencing it right now. They yes. got they're getting they got or are getting all their guys back healthy and now they don't stop winning. Then the only reason they're half game back maybe is because they played one game less than the Padres. They're right there. So to, to, I agree, Browner. If you're a Padre fan, if you're covering the Padres, that's what you care about is the Padres handle their business, get in the playoffs, and see what happens. That's every baseball team. Ask the Dodgers. But what I'm saying is I think I'm kind of leaning towards Scott now. If it takes bets a lot longer, if Muncie doesn't come back, if Yamamoto doesn't come back, maybe it's not just a wild card thing here. If you, if you reset your focus, and now that becomes a goal that you're trying to attain. You will be disappointed. Well, I think we're oh, talking about on, fan bases. Let, let's and let's media, all play dude. for second place. Let's all just play for second place. Let's let's just admit that the Dodgers are going to run away with the division, and let's all just play for second place. Oh, and then let's not even worry about what's happening behind us with Arizona, who was in the World Series last year. I I don't agree, man. I'm I've got a let's go for it mentality, and you've got a second place is going to be fine mentality. Who was in the World Series last year, if I'm not mistaken? Arizona. Did they win the division? No, they did not. Who did? The Dodgers. Okay, but who who won, who, who won the division? Who won the division the year before? My whole point is, 
you're focusing on something that doesn't necessarily matter. Get in. Get I understand in. what you're. I understand what you're saying that it doesn't necessarily matter. I get that. I'm just saying, don't give up on the possibility. 